Welcome or welcome back on C-Square. In this video clip, we're going to take a look to Parabola as a conic and we're going to take a look to the doson which the vertex is at the origin. And for that reason, uh, we'll look to this equation. So, in this video clip, we're going to talk about going to talk about these two cases. We're going to talk about this case and this case. Okay, these two, uh, parabola one is vertical, one is horizontal, are going to have the vertex at the origin and then we're going to see the focus and the directors. Okay, so let's see the first case here, y equals 4x squared. In this case, we're going to use the first equation I show you there, which is y equals 1 over 4c x squared and we're gonna match here these parts 1 over 4c in the uh, general form of the parabola and this 4 so we're gonna write this equation 1 over 4c equals 4 and in this one we're gonna solve for c we get 16c equals 1 or c equals 1 over 16 now what is the meaning of this c equals 1 over 16 we do have all those formula in the previous slide, but let me show you this uh, graphical method, which will help us probably to remember the things. And also, look at here on the last part, they said grab the parabola. So first of all, this is an open up parabola. We know that because it's y equals 4x squared, and obviously the vertex is 0 and 0. So we finish with the vertex. Now, how do we find the focus? Eh, now, this C equals 1 over 16 is going to help us. We're going to move up inside of the parabola and that will be the focus. How much we're going to move up? 1 over 16. So this point here is going to be 0 and 1 over 16. That is the coordinate of the focus. Just move that C units, in this case 1 over 16 over 1 unit, up and you get the focus. How we get the directives? Yeah, the direct is in this case is going to be a horizontal line that will be also 1 over 16 units but now this one will be down from the vertex so this equation will be y equals negative 1 over 16 but now we also grab the parabola so again you can use all these formula if you want or use this graphical approach Go ahead and pause this video clip and try number six. If you have this sensor, then you did a wonderful job. You notice this parabola is up and down because it's a negative. And then uh, we have the vertex 0 and 0. And from there, we're going to move one half. We're going to move one half down to get the focus right, right here. And then we're going to move one half of a unit up and we get the uh, directrix. Let's move to the next one, uh, and here you see similar, however different, we have x equals one half y squared. First of all, uh, it's very useful to remember that if we have something like this, the parabola is going to be open like that, open to the uh, right, and if we have something like this, the parabola is open like this okay if you do not remember these two cases you always can use some value for y uh, 
find x and make a short sketch and then you will see how the graph goes in case you need it. Okay, so how are we going to handle this uh, uh, two uh, equation similar with what we did before? x equals 1 over 4c now, y squared. Again, we're going to match 1 over 4c with 1 half and we get an equation now in c. So we're going to have 4c equals 2 or c equals 1 half. Okay, so now let's see how we use this c of 1 half. Like I mentioned before, this is a sleepy parabola. Let me call it like that. Open to the right because it's a positive 1 half. This is the vertex 0 and 0. And then we have this uh, 1 half. Right? For this 1 half, um, we're going to move 1 half inside of the parabola right here, 0 and 1 half, that will be the focus, we're going to move 1 half outside of the parabola, that will be the directrix, be careful, the directrix is a vertical line now, uh, and it's going to be x equals negative 1 half, uh, pause this video clip and try number 8, If you have this answer for uh, problem uh, number 8 and you did a wonderful job, the vertex is 0 and 0, uh, the um, focus is negative 1 third and 0, right? We move 1 third inside of the parabola and then the directrix is going to be x equals 1 third because you move one third outside of the parabola, so to the right, and that's it. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more math video clips.